All right. Thank you so much for tuning in today for Saturday story time. I have the new unveiling of the new wall, the new backdrop. I added um, two pictures and I moved a few things around. Um, actually, I haven't talked about this picture before, but Shelby, my illustrator, just did this picture for me just because. Isn't it gorgeous? Picture of Jesse. I know I love it. So that's kind of like the center, the focal point. But I also have pictures that were um, that were done by Reagan Dunn, and she was. I don't know if you've been following the story about how I got my books published, but she was a. Uh, an illustrator that I hired but didn't work out for the book. Um, she's an awesome artist. I mean, these pictures are great. Um, she does an amazing job. However, the, the problem was th having experience with children's books is a whole other thing besides being an amazing artist. So, um, yes, she was an amazing artist. I'm trying to get back to my tripod over here. Um, but it just didn't work out, and I love the her pictures. They're amazing. They are amazing. Um, so I thought I'd change my backdrop just a little bit. I'm pleased with how it turned out. All right, so today I am going to read Jesse the book. That started everything, huh, Jesse? Yeah, and it actually did take quite a while to get it published because you know I've told the story before of some of the mistakes I made, but you know, I know I firmly believe things happen for a reason, so um, it, it all worked out very well in the end. I'm super happy about how it worked out. All right, here we go, Jesse. And she's right here, and so is Tucker. Hi, oh, guys. Oh, all right. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say you can't believe everything you hear. Enough of that. More about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous, at least those that matter, and I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short, definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through just to wash their hair? <clears throat> I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime, enough said. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked, just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers, now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky. They're not green. What's the matter, Jesse? What happened? Now my best feature is my ears. They're what makes me unique. One always stands straight up. The other always pops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? There she is right next to me with her ears. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Something scared you. What is it? And I love to have my face petted. True, 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 true. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live at a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first. I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But 
As I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. I tried to get their attention using my ears, you know that floppy and straight thing, and I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled up my lead trying to get on the porch. It was wet. I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered. All of a sudden, I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more and the board fell off. Things can happen. I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole and all of a sudden I was on the other side. I could run and run, say it with me, and run. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. It was kind of scary. Being in the vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters. I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. It still seems that way, Jesse. It still seems that way. One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy. Here, boy. Can't he tell I'm a girl? Just look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. Oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there. Big dogs, little dogs, old dogs and puppies. Even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. A girl needs her beauty treatment and some water and treats. I like treats. They even petted my face. Yay for Jesse. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady say. Then they looked at me. We stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail. I smiled. I jumped up and down. I tried to squeeze through the cage to get close to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull mom, the girl said, but it says lab mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull and she could tell I'm a girl, beautiful and smart. 
You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull. But she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes, they sparkle. I put on my best to smile. Aren't you a sweetie, Mom said. See how I called her Mom? There are lots of them around, especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, just like any dog that is loved and cared for. Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever. Poor Jesse. Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back and they had brought all of their other dogs to meet me, just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so of course they loved me. <clears throat> Home I went with mom, girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They're so lucky they found me. Really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands, well, pause. Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats and she tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. Yay! Jessie! Happy Jessie! Are you a happy girl? All right. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me show you Jesse and Tucker. They're both right here. Nobody's on the dog bed, though. What's up with that, guys? Where are you? You're right there next to Mama's. Why are you right there next to me, Jesse? Yeah, you are a pretty girl, aren't you? Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Hi everybody, thank you for watching. And here we go over here to Tucker, the very, very serious groomer. He is licking those paws. Oh my goodness, Tucker. He's not a fan of the camera, so he probably won't even look up. Hi, huh, Tucky. Yeah, I think he's part cat, actually. He's a groomer and a half. Always grooming. All right. One last Jesse picture. Say hi, everybody. See you next time. Thank you for joining us. Happy Saturday. Yes, it was adopt a pet day this week, too. We missed it with our posts, but you know, that's where our heart is. One last look at the wall and the two new pictures of the dogs up there. Yay. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye.